morning everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome to the channel hope you're all well um, here I am out on my own uh, just showing the uh, what's known by and around these parts as the rabbit run in the direction of Bridge North and I'm out uh, down this lovely slightly overcast but very mild Sunday morning in uh, mid-September, 17th of September is actually today's date. Yep, and I'm on Donald. Donald the Triumph Speed Twin. And uh, I'm putting some running in miles on. That's the purpose of this ride out, is to put some running in miles on to get it up towards that uh, first service. We're on 100 and about 155 now, I think. Um, yeah, 155. So, busy running them in. Uh, yeah, and I'm loving it. I'm, uh, this is the third ride I've done on it. Uh, and I love it. Absolutely love it. It's uh, everything I hope for and more. Um, so, yeah, really glad I, uh, I opted to go for this bike. Um, so what's happening? Yeah, the plan is today, I'm just going out to this ride out, heading to, over towards Bridge North. Then I'm going to cut down the, uh, the road that runs down from Bridge North towards Kidderminster. It's quite a nice road. That will take me past the uh, Food Stop Bikers Cafe in Quatford. I will uh, have a little look what's on the car park as we pass there. And. Uh, there we go, so what's, what's else have been going on? I was going to go out yesterday because uh, I'm just keeping an eye on the weather at the moment I'm going to go out yesterday uh, didn't, but what I did do yesterday is me and the wife and the uh, youngest daughter went over to the jewellery quarter to get me a replacement wedding ring because when I did the Wales tour back over Easter I, uh, I lost my wedding ring I pulled my glove off I, th I know where I did it it was uh, around by uh, Clean Cumbercan. No, it wasn't. Uh, it might have been. No, it wasn't. Nanty Mock. That's where it was. My well, Nanty Mock Reservoir. When I stopped there, that's where I. Uh, that's where I. In a burning, when I took my glove off, I pulled it off and lost it. Perfectly my own fault because uh, it needed to be uh, reduced in size because I think my finger had. Well, I don't think I know. My finger had shrunk slightly. Uh, because uh, I've had it, uh, it was enlarged or reduced a couple of times over the 37 years, 38 years I've now been married and it's uh, gone loose, I should have took it off and left it off but I didn't and I lost it so now I've got a replacement so yesterday I was over there getting a new wedding ring so that's that done uh, and so the daughter went as well, the youngest daughter uh, and she, the, talking to the youngest daughter, she's uh, she's 27 tomorrow. And the youngest of my four daughters is it's her 27th birthday tomorrow. And uh, wow, where did all that time go? Just disappeared in a heartbeat. And I'll, I'll reiterate what I've said before. You know, savor every moment you can, because before you know, it'll be it'll be it'll be gone. And uh, yeah, so that's what that. I've got a new job as well uh, to change a job, uh, which has meant I'm pretty busy at the moment. So I'm not having a lot of time to watch videos. I'm trying to catch up a little bit here. So I'm trying to edit my own and try and watch a few others. And it's got sort of reached that critical mass now where I'm struggling to do to do that. But I will try and catch up. Uh, the way for the weather takes a downturn, that'll make it a lot easier to do. Um, so we're heading down here towards Bridge North now. The coffee and cakes at the Rabbit Run. Need to need to try that out at some point. So, uh, yeah, so, so I just try and get another 50 to 70 miles on today. And uh, it all adds into the running in process. So what else have I been doing? Ah, uh, there's other plans afoot with regards to uh, bike collection which will, which will become apparent in due course um, am I missing the tracer well 
in all honesty, not really. As I, as I alluded to in the uh, initial video about the, the uh, about this bike, I wasn't riding it apart from touring, and yet there's a, a lot of money uh, stood doing nothing to be used for a couple of weeks a year. So uh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. And if I'd, uh, I, you know, I never want to see any of you. I'd love to keep them all, but you've, you've got to be realistic about it. So. Uh, but I'm more than happy, more than happy with uh, with what what I've done, you know, with this bike as a replacement. So I've got to be honest and say no, I'm not really missing it. But, uh, the tours, the longer tours, like next year, I think the longer one that I'm going to do on this will be the Wild Atlantic Way, or at least half of the Wild Atlantic Way next year, and then go and do the rest of it the year after. Um, and then what I'm planning for the Norfolk tour that we've got at the beginning of June, uh, Norfolk area, all over there, uh, we'll be doing that on, uh, on my scram, on Stan the Scram. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. And that's uh, Paul, Big Paul, Little Paul, Joe, uh, me and Bry are doing that one. And I want to try and say to the Wild Atlantic Way. With, with Little Paul, Roy, Carevel. That's the plan for that one. And that'll be August time next year. So, uh, start researching then, I'll probably do that after Christmas. I usually do most of my research and planning for that, for those uh, the bigger tours. I usually do that over the, the week, in the week between Christmas and New Year. It always seems an ideal time to do for me. It's, uh, we've got a bit of spare time and sit and plan it out. If something ready to look forward to uh, all Norfolk's all booked up it has been since we went to uh, to Scotland in July so I've got all that happening uh, what else is going on um, that's about it really I think for the channel I'm so busy with work at the moment uh, and trying to trying to catch up on videos uh, Put you in onto a little plan that I have got with regards to the bikes. Is I'm, I'm planning to try and leave one over in Wales uh, between sort of Easter time and October, so it'll be there whenever I go over to use all through the spring, summer, and into early autumn, and I can then use that to go and explore. The, uh, the mountains, hills and coastline of North and Central Wales, maybe even dropping down to South Wales. Uh, that's the plan is to do that. I'm just uh, finalising how, how best to do that. So that'll be, if we do do that, and I can't see any reason why I'll change my mind, that'll start in, uh, as I say, Easter next year. There's lots, uh, lots of ideas in the pipeline. Uh, might be some changes on Paul, Big Paul's front as well, and Little Paul, uh, some changes come in there. And Kev, change come in there, all, all, all will be revealed in due course, uh, once we can get out and about with them and, and share what they're up to with you. Oh, a bit of book spread I think, been going on up here. They're just taking it nice and steady on this one to get it running. I want to try and get it running if I can. And there's no reason at all why I should be able to do that. I'll be looking at 165 miles at the moment. Should get it running easily by the uh, by the end of October. Or between 600 miles anyway, at first service. And then finish the last little bit of running in after that. Then, um, yeah, uh, two weeks' time, two weeks yesterday, on, uh, a week on Saturday, I'm going to get it ceramic coated. 
but that's all booked in to be done uh, yep so uh, I'll let you know how that goes uh, highly recommended the uh, the guy I'm getting to do it for me he's done bikes for both pools and I've been really happy with the uh, uh, with the result uh, cruising along here 50 miles an hour at 3000 revs just effortless effortless if you have watched the video where I uh, revealed or introduced the bike we for the first ride to Hartlebury Hartlebury? No, Harvington I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, received a few comments about it and, uh, in the process of answering them I uh, hope you enjoyed that one of the things I'm working on uh, conversation with Lanes Explorer uh, from uh, his response to a video I did on, back on Stand the Scram where I went and found a place where I lived as a as a little, little child and they were talking about like sort of uh, videos of personal experiences and things like that and life events and I'm, uh, I'm in the process of making a video about a member of the of me uh, my family, my uh, great uncle on my mum's side of the family who was killed uh, towards the end of World War One and I'm just I'm in the process of making a video about uh, him uh, that I'm gonna I'll release around about uh, November in uh, to coincide with uh, remembrance but, uh, thank you uh, thank you Peter for inspiring me to do what I should have done a very long time ago um, as I think uh, I want to say too much about uh, the thinking behind it because I, I think all the video speak for itself when I do it uh, so uh, yeah again inspiration from other YouTubers ideas and things to do and just conversations you know it's great to, to get a conversation going in the uh, in the comments where you know uh, a comment on something leads to something else and you know processes ideas into into things that may be uh, may be of interest and, uh, and for other reasons so uh, you know I do enjoy uh, receiving comments and, uh, and responding to them and uh, you know, getting a conversation going. That's it can be quite inspirational, really, and I think we'll see that. Right. Uh, hopefully, you'll, you'll, that will come through on that video. So this is the 442 now. This is going down to Kidderminster. Uh, it's following the Seven Valley Railway, really, and the River Seven, which is over to the right. For anybody of you that don't know this area, what you've got to watch down here is speed traps because they know that bikers come down here. As this is uh, on the left shortly will be Quatford Calf Truck um, Food Stop Bikers Calf I haven't been here for years uh, I probably do need to come and have breakfast or something here again We tend to try and want to get further afield to be fair That's why we don't uh, tend not to come here anymore I'll tell you, talking about videos uh, I love the uh, Aussie Biker Dudes videos I'm so flipping jealous of where he got to ride I think in Brisbane I believe I'm sure it's Brisbane, correct me if I'm wrong ABD um, he's in Brisbane and uh, wow look at this here uh, he certainly has got some uh, cracking rides out there lucky fella and uh, he makes me smile his videos really do make me smile uh, uh, yeah I, you sit there and you think right we're, we're, we couldn't be much further apart in terms of geographical location but we you know we love the same thing and he goes off in search of uh, of the uh, you know the uh, scenery and the wildlife that he's got out there and we go in search of the scenery and the wildlife that we've got up here and yeah uh, don't matter how far apart you are, you've got this common link between here's the, uh, here's the calf 
this common link between uh, between us in terms of uh, just flipping uh, loving these bikes or loving bikes and uh, he's just upgraded himself to a Super Meteor 650 what a nice bike that is as well there we go, we can up to 50 now yeah, so uh, let's say this is a nice road Yeah, so uh, thank you for all your kind words on the videos as well, ABD. It's uh, very kind of you. The one thing I could be assured that we ain't going to see coming down this road is any kangaroos. <laughs> Foxes, possibly. Rabbits. Yep, yeah, highly likely. You might see deers. Rats, definitely rats around uh, the Midlands, uh, but definitely no kangaroos. This territory is also uh, David Jay's uh, stamping ground. Hello, David. Uh, on his uh, on the. The C500 is it? Yeah, on Red C500 will be uh, out and about in these parts. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, midweek evening ride outs that we've done this year. We've done a hell of a lot of them. Uh, that's something we've never really done before. We started doing the odd one, and then we've this year sort of become a a. Uh, a common occurrence. It's been it's been really nice. Enjoyed it. A hundred mile evening ride out out of the house for three and a half hours. Again, I'm in the dark now, so so it will be winding up slowly down. Getting more and more local, then winding them down. And hopefully we'll we'll start them up again next year. And it's just a chance to uh, hopefully the conversation that we have together taking the mickey out of each other and stuff uh, you find that entertaining and uh, some of the places that you see you know are, are enjoyable you do go to a lot of the same places just unavoidable really but hopefully you see them in the different lights uh, see a lot more of them at sunset now as the uh, as the nights are drawing in Shatterford, for those of you who don't know, she's where Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin has a home. Somewhere over there. So, uh, yeah, he's somebody that uh, kept a home near to where he, uh, where he born and grew up, which was Hales Owen, I believe. And uh, stayed, you know, with it, having a home with him probably you know, like 10 miles of where he was born and grew up. So he, you know, he, he, he never deserted his home. Tree tunnels, you know, I love tree tunnels. A lovely one. Something about riding through, I don't know what it is, but I just love it. Always have done. So uh, just on the road between uh, Starport and Hartlebury now. Uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed this little video and uh, thank you for coming with me and keeping me company on this little running in exercise. Uh, yeah. As always, feel free to comment, look forward to receiving comments, look forward to answering them. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. 
and Tarara bit, and I'll see you later.